Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, the War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we are going to do the undoable, think the unthinkable, achieve the unachievable. We are going to finish a long, long lasting quest. We are going to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers permission. It is time for the last mission uh, uh, to start it over the course of the next three episodes. We are going to shake up this uh, facility, we're going to kill all of the aliens and we're hopefully successfully finishing. It's do or die time, no more excuses. We're going to go in with individual concealment, yes, SWAT targeting, yes, one run and gun ability uh, for free, yes please, and reduction of enemy willpower, uh, yes. We're spending 170 intel, plenty of intel available. Launch the mission, no more excuses. I am thrilled and psyched to go through that. So let's get it rolling. We're only allowed to take three soldiers with us, which I can only snicker about. It's not that we need three. Three would be a luxury. We are going in with two. Just like with any other mission that we have played before, let's just double check that we have everything set up. Uh, it is now that it counts. We still have the Fear of Archons, but can't really do anything against that now. Mind Shield, Shredstorm, Cannon, Arashi, Katana, and the Rage Suit. Um, we do have PCS Superior Agility uh, for the 20, uh, 24 Dodge. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we installed that the last time, so that is exactly working as intended. And Zirkim is going to go in uh, with his lo loadout. He got his uh, new gun, oh, which is a bit of an upgrade. Plasma uh, grenade, uh, blue screen rounds. Uh, so plus the serpent armor, uh, that should be more than uh, enough. Uh, plenty of uh, firepower for this mission. I am excited, guys, because this is uh, going to be a fun way of uh, ending uh, this very, very entertaining run. I, all, uh, I enjoyed it all the way through, um, specifically since it seems to be an achievement that hasn't been done before. Uh, note in the comment section below if you have found someone who has um, played it with the army of two uh, on the highest difficulty. Um, so that's really, really uh, intriguing. But we need to solve the last mission before that happens. Uh, it still could all go downhill. And I have no idea whether or not we are strong enough for the last mission. But uh, we've certainly peaked. Like there is, There are no more sensible abilities that we could get. We have the best equipment. We have the best abilities. We've invested a lot of time into the soldiers theoretically we could continue training on and on and on i think we're at a point in the game where we can't lose the game so you could probably take the argumentation and say you know what roby and hogbite if we're just going finishing a um, hundred dodge on both of them and uh, then stacking hit points uh, on and on and on and on uh, plus maybe stacking uh, some some more movement uh, movement is probably not even necessary. Some more uh, um, aim, um, uh, and and then just continuing with that. Let's say if both of them had theoretically high numbers, seventy hit points, eighty hit points, hundred hit points. At some point, you're reaching the the threshold where um, it is very likely that you're that you're going to win the mission just due to sheer. Uh, power. If you have enough hit points, then the enemies can't kill you. So it would be very likely that you are going to win the last mission just based on that. But it would probably take another 100 episodes to just get there. Uh, so yeah, to keep it a little bit more challenging, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to go in with two soldiers. But before we get to the last mission, this here is actually the mission that is currently, uh, uh, that is currently uh, required to be beaten. And we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't think about the last mission before this year isn't over. 
got Renman, uh, got um, uh, got uh, uh, Zirkim, both of them double concealment. And an extra run and gun ability, just for good measure. Confirmed. It's pretty much a zigzag uh, until we're going to be there. Pretty sure that with the enemies here, we should be fine overall. But I mean, you never know. Not sure why exactly we are starting with one emulation uh, too less, too little. We haven't even taken a shot. Okay. Strange. Let me reload. Apparently, we got an extra ammunition uh, from the uh, upgrades, which is cool. But the extra ammunition effectively meant that we were not starting with a full clip, which is odd. Like, you would think that two battle veterans with um, over 35 missions by now would have um, uh, learned to load their uh, gun before they're go uh, going into battle. But apparently, that's not a thing for them. A little bit of easy life. Okay. Really, so far, nothing in particular that seems to be out of the uh, that seems to be worrying or out of the ordinary. Quite the contrary, everything's quite calm. We got a lot of uh, squad uh, bony squad targeting in particular with uh, increased uh, chance for critical hits and just general increased chance to hit. So we are not even forced to go over here. We can s go straight ahead. Right, so we've seen something down there. That's fine. Putting ourselves into the same spot here. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. They do have individual uh, uh, concealment, so by definition they are not going to be spotted out collectively. I think it's a good timing uh, to start. Well, that's almost a hundred percent crit chance, by the way. But hundred percent is not good enough. Well, maybe it is because I don't want to move Zirkim. The other option that we could do is we could simply move down here. How much? We would hit for 12 to 13. Yeah, let's do that just for shits and giggles. I like it. Two blade storm attacks should kill both of them. Nice. The rage suit automatically send them into panic mode. There's the blade storm. Nice little extra hit. And a kill. So without even really spending an action other than the movement, um, we have immediately destroyed that pack.
And the mutant was kind enough to show us where exactly the upper uh, opposition is going to be, which is right over there. Oh, interesting. I wonder. I think that's an excellent chance to use our Shredstorm cannon. <laughs> okay. Oh my lord. We are killing it. I am with you. A little bit of advanced teamwork here. Let's run and gun. And kind of move here. That shouldn't trigger the pack on the other side, unless we're unlucky, in which case it would trigger. But we aren't. That's good. A little bit of rapid fire, just to be sure that we get this guy down. Two shots. One of them should hit. Nice little critical strike, by the way. The crit chance is incredibly high. Um, and now, since this guy has lost his position... We might as well kill him with the chain shot. That's one hit. And that's the second one. Oh my gosh, like our firepower is beyond comprehension. That was uh, two packs. We haven't, we've barely uh, used any of our cooldowns. I'm just waiting to get the cooldowns back. We have no reason why we should um, uh, sprint uh, through this. So, two more rounds just to get the cooldowns back. Alright, one more round. Yep, there we go. Maybe a flesh wound. That's, by the way, exactly why we wanted to wait. Target eliminated. <laughs> and he's panicking as well. Uh, nice, we found mutants, uh, and uh, they were panicking. Now we found uh, vipers. They are panicking as well. Beautiful. A beautiful. All right, that's one down. I said a hundred percent hit chance. Yeah, let's just overwatch for now. I mean, easy reload. Not even a sweat, like uh, this mission. Almost seems a bit too easy with all of the buffs. Keep in mind it's uh, normally a three-man uh, mission. So yes, they are more uh, easy just from the bal uh, balancing and pack size than the uh, six-man uh, missions. So naturally, let's reload. Naturally, this will be not as much of a challenge. Okay. Let us continue. A little bit of a high ground here. Found nothing, okay. A little bit of uh, get into a better position. Nothing again. Okay. If you say so. 
Well, in which case we're just going to Overwatch. I think it's only one more pack left. We have uh, completely annihilated everything else. Not even uh, taken a scratch. Or used any of our consumables. Just a couple of cooldowns, really. Well, yeah, one um, advanced teamwork, but that's pretty much about it. Holy moly. He's hitting pretty well with a shotgun. Fear of Archons, resist it. Good job. Well, I think that's the first time that we're actually going to use uh, some of our consumables. Which in this case would be softening them up. And knocking them down. So that's at least 14 points of damage, uh, which will kill this guy. Death from above continues. Still death from above, oh my gosh. It's not even funny, we're... It feels like... The aliens are somewhat getting treated really, really poorly. Oh, we got a tower up there. Okay. Got you, got you. Well, this is going to be untouchable. And with untouchable comes in placeable. What's over there? I think this is the package. Not that the loot uh, would matter at this point. Like at all. Let's give him some advanced teamwork, and that's pretty much mission is over. I mean, it would be a, I would be lying if I would say that that uh, was really, really difficult. It was a little bit anticlimactic if you think about it. They didn't even stand a chance. Like at no point was it a difficult or close mission. And the last tower over there certainly didn't make a difference. Alright, so whilst uh, this is going on in the background, let me scale down the um, sound a little bit. Whilst this is going on in the background, since I can't um, actually stop it, I'll narrate a little bit uh, through the thought process of um, how the last mission is going to play out. Um, if you want, uh, just listen through it. If not, uh, now is a good time to still hit the like button for a flawless mission and wish me some luck on the last two missions. That'll be appreciated. Um, it also helps YouTube to understand that this here is, an, uh, is a nice channel and that it could uh, require a little bit more attention. Anyways, as for the last mission, here are a couple of thoughts from my side. Um, I would say 
our main priority in the first half of the last mission must be to uh, preserve um, as many resources as as possible by any um, by any means. So a good first half of the mission means no uh, resources have been expended, no uh, healing kits, no um, uh, uh, no action um, uh, action trade over, no single um, usage abilities, not even scanning protocol. Although that is argue, uh, one can argue that that is um, is okay. You can uh, you can do that. Anyway, so that's the main um, focus. I will be probably playing a little bit more conservative to make sure that um, that uh, the that we're using longer cooldowns, uh, specifically from the commander. The commander has a uh, built-in regeneration functions. So we're going to use him as bait and also as the person who takes the most shots, uh, just because uh, he would uh, regenerate that without actually needing to uh, to uh, um, heal him. By the way, great job, 300 kills. That's just phenomenal. Um, that is just phenomenal. So that's uh, that's the core idea behind it, really. Um, we're looking for a massive amount of enemies. Uh, 31 is nothing to sneeze at. And uh, theoretically, you could go in with as uh, many as four or even six uh, um, soldiers. We are sticking true to our, um, to our promise. And it's going to be Hawkbite and Roby. We have, pre uh, we have started to, uh, to build them up really, really strong. We went through their stats in the last video, so if you're interested in um, in that, uh, feel free to rewatch the end of uh, the last video where I went through the entirety of their equipment and so on. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty. Uh, we're pretty much set. Um, I am very uh, confident that this year is the best tech team that we could get. It's just a question how well it's going to uh, play out. So, um, whilst this year, and again, I can't uh, interrupt it, whilst this is playing out, a couple of thoughts towards the last room. We're going to um, summon a ghost as soon as possible in the last room. So that's going to be one of our uh, very first actions. Um, we're going to take over uh, full focus. So we're uh, killing uh, one of the hopefully human um, uh, enemies there. Um, are going to summon the uh, the ghost and essentially then we would have four soldiers the commander uh, ghost um, the uh, actual templar and uh, the um, and roby and that must be uh, enough we do have theoretically one mind control which we could use against whatever creature we do have we do have uh, one um, uh, hacking uh, protocol, so enemy protocol, which we can use uh, for um, either a mech or a sector pod if we could get one. And that's kind of the firepower that we do have available. In terms of strategy, what I'm thinking, now I will probably take a high ground uh, with um, uh, with uh, a Roby and we'll try to uh, use him as quote unquote the killing uh, machine and we'll keep the Templar somewhat in his par parameter. Uh, at the lower um, uh, at the lower side of it, um, Roby doesn't have um, uh, Roby doesn't unfortunately have um, a mind shield. So uh, theoretically, the avatars can mind control him. So can sectors. Uh, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, but we 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 uh, have either that or we do have. Um, uh, blue screen rounds and I really want to go in with blue screen rounds. So we're going to keep both together which hopefully will enable us to uh, to have the avatar just jumping in between really both of them. I'll um, probably use uh, the uh, the function to switch the avatar uh, into a better position from uh, from time to time uh, but it might as well we, we might as well end up in a situation where Hogbite is kind of running off into um, into uh, the into the mission. Um, 
that that uh, into the room uh, and being on his own. So that's really where the tanking ability needs to come in. Um, in case of a doubt, Hogbite is the one uh, taking really most uh, of the shots. And I hope that with parry and reflect uh, that we could uh, take a few shots per round, which is probably going to be realistic. Um, just from a mechanic, uh, uh, the avatar will spawn. Um, we're probably going to unload and hopefully kill the avatar in one to two rounds and then there will be a round in between always continuously spawning um, enemies so that'll be a bit of a tricky situation because uh, we need to somewhat kill them uh, or at least have uh, have tanks uh, there and that's where the ghost comes into play I'll just use the ghost as bait uh, and put it into the middle of uh, the enemy uh, packs to, to, to somewhat um, uh, keep them busy. Uh, I'm not sure with the 12 hit points if the ghost will actually survive a larger pack, but I think with Bladestorm uh, it might do a quite a good job to, um, to, uh, to kill at least a couple of them. Yeah, so and whilst I was narrating, um, in the background uh, everything's uh, loading up. So this here is going to be uh, the uh, handover for the next mission. Uh, in the next mission, in three days, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we're going to do the first half of uh, this uh, of this facility. Uh, 31 enemies. Uh, we uh, are striving to take zero permanent uh, damage and use zero of our um, actual consumables. And the only thing that we do have available are these two uh, units plus uh, the commander's avatar, which is uh, going to be fun. It is indeed going to be fun. Um, so, if you like what you've seen, don't forget the thumbs up and uh, see you in the next mission. Goodbye.